Tension was high today at the legislative yuan when a former leader of the Bamboo Union gang and pro-China activist confronted student protesters. Zhang Anle spent a decade in U.S. federal prison on a drug trafficking conviction and after being deported back to Taiwan, fled in 1996 for his involvement in organized crime, returning only last year. Despite his criminal background, Zhang today compared the students to kidnappers and demanded that they leave the lawmaking body. Dozens of bodyguards decked in black shirts escorted John Anlo, also known as the White Wolf, outside the legislative Yuan. <laughs> After stopping, John shouted the word bandits, accusing the students of illegally occupying the legislative Yuan. The legislature belongs to the public, it's not theirs. This is equal to someone blackmailing your family, our bandits kidnapping your grandson, then saying that he's one of their bargaining chips. Your grandson is in their hands, and how much do you want to pay? By making the legislative UN their home, they're acting in the same way. Zhang also took a swipe at the police, accusing them of doing nothing and failing to take responsibility. Today our police suffer dereliction of duty, with the students and the police acting illegally. If you don't evict them, there will be social costs which could lead to greater social unrest. And who is to blame? The police. John's group encountered those opposing the Trade and Services Pact at the corner of Zhongxiao East Road and Junjing Street this afternoon, with police in the middle separating both sides. A few clashes erupted, though both sides eventually backed down. Zhang vowed to return if the students don't leave.